Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jason and this is a plant known as Dianthus, the variety known as Rosy Cheeks. Um, this is also known as the Rosy Cheeks Carnation. Uh, it's a really cool plant. Um, it has these beautiful rosy pink flowers and they grow above this grassy like blue-gray foliage. Uh, the foliage grows to about uh, 10 to 12 inches tall and about 12 to 14 inches wide. Uh, it has a very nice grass-like appeal. It's a beautiful color in the landscape. Oh my gosh. Um, as far as choosing a location for this plant, uh, you want to place it in full sun if you live on the coast here in California. If you live more inland where summers are, are hotter, uh, you want to plant this in sun. So like five to six hours of sun is pretty good. Um, if you plant it in a little bit less sun, like part sun, um, it'll still grow, but the flowers will reach a bit, which is fine. Um, but I wouldn't plant it in any less light than that. Um, as far as the soil, uh, this plant needs a well-draining soil. Uh, as far as the water needs, um, this is a drought tolerant plant. When you first plant it, it'll have medium water needs. Uh, as it establishes in your landscape, it'll become, um, it'll have lower water needs and become semi drought tolerant. Uh, and uh, it's a beautiful addition to the landscape. If you're looking for a really nice blue, gray, green color to add in between your other plants for texture and like a beautiful color and that, a color that also complements the flowers themselves, um, it's a really awesome choice. Uh, I haven't had any pest or disease problems with this plant. Um, it's pretty cool. As far as pruning, just prune the spent flowers off when they're done. Or you can even prune them before they're done and you'll have like cut flowers in the house and they have a long shelf life, they're carnations. So uh, once again, this is the carnation known as Rosy Cheeks. Uh, my name is Jason. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like updates on my newest videos, please click that subscribe button. And once again, uh, catch you next time.